Hi, beautiful people. What is good? Let me sap. What's good, y'all? How are we feeling, beautiful people? We are in the building. We are in the mother loving building. What's good? Hello. What's up, Eagles? How's it going, my boy? All right, y'all. Y'all know what day it is. It is 316 day, y'all. It's also uh, the season finale for... Hold on, let me get my phone real quick, matter of fact. Got it right here. But yeah, it's also... Yeah, smash that like button. Let him know, Lucky. Austin 316 says hit that like button. I love that. Do 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 do. Yeah, we're also doing the off season as well after this, and then we're gonna play some good old Pokemans. Oh so, yeah. I'm gonna pull up a, a couple stream. Well, not even a couple, just a stream. I guess flag on ended. Let's see who is live. The bear man's live. Got a few homies who are live. Damn, dude. <clears throat> Mr. Bear, though. All right. But yeah, we're taking on ECU and the Liberty Bowl. Yep, once again, we are playing in the Liberty Bowl. Gotta love it. And it looks like Memphis took care of Louisville. How's everybody's day going so far, though? Yep, 24 to 19, so it was a close one. And then we got Colorado State taking on FSU, or just Colorado taking on FSU. Easy money. Let's see what the rest of the Mountain West is doing. So we got Stan Utah playing Stanford in the Las Vegas Bowl. And Stanford takes care of Utah. So damn. Utah is the only team in the Mountain West that ended up beating us. And hmm, gotta, you, you hate to see it, so... Damn, really? Only us in Utah made it to bowl games. The fuck happened to Colorado State? So they just lost out, basically. Those bums. So literally just us in Utah ended up making it to the the bowl, the bowl season. You hate to see it. You really just hate to see it. <clears throat> Alright, well... We'll go to our game against ECU then. <laughs> What's up, Tyler? How's it going, man? <clears throat> Happy 316 day to everybody once again. Good old 316. <clears throat> Alrighty. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, I know. I have to work all day. To or I'll have to work from like 10 to 5 tomorrow. Fun times. Fun times. Right, last game of the season. Can't hold anything back now. And the best part is WWE 2K23 comes out. Oh, gee, how did I know you were going to bring that up? It's not like you do, you bring it up every time you come in here or anything like that. We're at Liberty Bowl Memorial Stadium, located in Memphis. Up 
freezing cold day for this game between the UNLV Rebels and the Pirates of East Carolina. The Pirates. <clears throat> sorry, to, no, I'm just making an observation. You don't got to be sorry. <laughs> I'm just making an observation that you bring it up every time you come in. I'm not saying it's inherently a good or a bad thing. Everybody, I'm Brad Nessler, and I'm joined as always by Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet to provide Looks like you it's with all the out here. in today's bowl game. We're going bowling here. The Pirates don't seem to match up too well in this one. Kirk, I'm not sure I like their chances very much. Liberty Bowl, you know, temporary home of the Tennessee Oilers slash Titans. Facts. UNLV will have one of the best defensive players in the nation on display here. You rarely see a linebacker that can do the things Devin that Fowler. this young man can do. If you don't know him yet, you soon will. Let me tell you why I agree with you. UNLV has an advantage in this one, and that's their passing game. I look for them to get good protection, throw the football all over the place, and play like one of those all-star teams out there. Thanks, guys. Let's head down. All right, so we're kicking it off. Let's go. <clears throat> we are kicking it off. And they're ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number 80 fields at the goal line. Like, doesn't look like Just snow. Any open field at all there. You know, Brad, he looked kind of Love the level of presentation in the older PS2 games, right? <laughs> like, honestly, this is better than 14's presentation. In my opinion, at least. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Ooh. Incomplete pass. He overshot his receiver by a mile. Whoa, Nelly. Pull back on those reins a bit. Well, we knew this guy had a strong arm, but that was ridiculous. Yeah, it was. The Pirates. All right, second and ten. They go with a toss. Oh, that's easy money. Let's go. A big loss after they stopped the run. Not much you can say there. The defense just shot in. What's up, Asgardian? How's it going, my like boy? Defense has put up some very Mr. Mr. Protector. I'll tell you why. They're fast, they're strong, I'll shot you out after yeah. this play. That combination means one thing. Is it raining? I can't tell, honestly. All I know is that it's foggy as hell. Fantastic play by the quarterback. All you young defensive backs at home. That is how you play defense. If you guys aren't following as Guardian, make sure you guys go drop him a follow. He also streams. Be an NCAA or Madden. I wasn't a fan of how they cut back on pre-game presentations. as newer PS2 games came out right. Like, I think Madden 05 might have been, like, the last one that actually had, like, the pre-game... Like Madden and uh, Al Michaels and John Madden talking about like the players one night. The offense heads out onto the field. It's really disappointing. And with their defense forcing the punt, it allows them to have a shot at getting the first points on the board. They'll get the ball here at the 37. There are the ECU chance. And yes, Alex Moran remains the starting quarterback for us. Moran, back to pass. Can't find anyone open. He's in trouble. Throws it to the outside. Oh! And it falls incomplete. Caught, but out of bounds by the tight end. Heck of an effort here. By that would have been a hell of a play. With the football. The only problem is he couldn't get a foot in. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. The Rebels line up in an I formation. They run a counter. He tries to spin. Oh, Burns. He's got an opening. Ooh. And he's Ooh, good run. And Still grinding for Hildren Prime. Just need a single piece. Bro, I haven't even. I it's been a while since I played Terraria. Third and two. I think they cut out cut out the cheerleaders halftime show in 06 as well. Yeah. This is still in 05. It's a pass on third and short. Now he's scrambling. He rifles it to the left. On 21, can you do something for me? Ah, uh, I spun too late, but at least I got the first. Call to convert on third down. I'll tell you what. He really wanted that first down. Good determination to get it. UNLV is ranked near the bottom of the barrel as far as offense goes. Well, the numbers don't lie. They just can't move the ball. Nickel defense. They go with the option. Now he pitches it. Ooh, Burns with a nice juke. Reed He's just short down. of the first and down. And they pick up it. nine there. I'd run it off tackle here. Nothing too fancy. Just establish a solid rushing game. Second and one coming up right. here. This is the fifth play. Second of the and one. 
The Pirates bring in the nickel package. Moran back to throw. Wants to throw uh, outside. Oh, McCringleberry, you freaking dingleberry. And he hang on to it. Tough break there. They had a good play on. The quarterback made the right decision, but the tight end just couldn't come up with a catch. This is where you just go with what you uh, do the best. Hang, more like Hingle McDingleberry. The third down that as they line it up. Ben Moore. Oh, crap, Baskets. He's going to lose yards on this one. Three yard loss there. Eh, should we punt it? You gotta go out there and compete. They're telling me to punt it. Let's go for it. I haven't played Terraria in two weeks since your last stream. Oof. It's been years for me. Well, looks like the coach is gonna take a chance here and go for it on fourth down. He keeps it. Oh, and Moran. And they get the fourth down conversion. I'm glad I'm up here in the booth and not down there on the sidelines. I thought that was a turnover on downs for sure, but give credit to the quarterback for keeping his composure and delivering. Moran is him for that burnout on it. I feel that. That's how I feel about like, a lot of games. Gives it up the middle. You know, at a certain point, I just get burned out and I don't even watch them anymore. As a coach, I, I don't want to play them. In this case, I mean, watch them either, but mainly the play them. You may have a nice play. Burn. Lines up in the deep back. Eye formation. Moran drops to throw. Across the middle. His back makes the catch. All right, Burns is out here making plays and today. the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact I'm that the quarterback right had plenty of time to look downfield. As a coach, you love mismatch. In this case, if the slot guy's covered by the linebacker, you may have a nice play. Drops back to pass. He's looking. Rifles it over the middle. Ooh, that's a dangerous throw. I got lucky. Not a good Why is it so foggy? Throwing into coverage. Especially with how cold it is. I don't even know, Eagles. NBA Jam Boys, he's heating up, right? Uh, Slater's in the game now. Good run by Slater. Four yards on that play. Everyone should know this one. Now go make it happen. Let's go wide receiver corners. It's third down and six to go. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Back to pass. Looks. Steps up. Throws it. Oh, somehow Agassi made it. See? He's wide open and he drops passes, but it's like I throw it to him in coverage and he makes the catch. You are a you're a dingleberry for that, bro. You are a dingleberry and a half. Oh, is wait. Oh, Gorin's healthy. Gorin is healthy. All right, I'm out of play him then. And I don't think Addy is suspended anymore either, so I'll I'll make her the backup running back for now. All right, but Gorin is back, y'all. Let's go. It's the end of his career on his his terms. I just realized, like, he's back. In this situation, I challenge my offensive line to get enough of a push to give you a touchdown. Addy checks in now. Looks like they're going to try to pound And she's going to punch it in. Let's go. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And there is and the extra the point. PAT. With less than four minutes to go in the first, the score, UNLV, seven, East Carolina, nothing. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. Number 80, fields it in yeah. the end zone. Good tackle, Dickerson. The defense did a nice job of shutting that kick returner got dicked. I said what I said. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're First back on the same page. The They'll take over at the 15-yard line. The Pirates come out in the ace. Bro, it is so foggy though. They keep it on the ground. Oh crap, baskets. Get him. At the 40. Good tackle, Cody. With a takedown. That might have been good night, sweetheart, there. Yo, that's my line. And let me tell you something, you're right. That was close. I love this play right here. I would get that ball in that kid's hands more and more if I was his coach. It's first and two. Oh, okay. Ball right around midfield. Nickel defense. He drops back. 
Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. Oh, come on, Snicket. Gotta pick that off, my boy. Let's go. Dime. Dog gold. Ball on the 47 yard line. UNLV puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Drops back to pass. Going deep. It oh. Goes incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. Third down and ten. They're ninth in the nation in third down conversions. That doesn't spell very. UNLV. That spells disaster for us. Five wide set. He unloads it. And that was a terrible throw. Man. Not on target at all this drive, guys. Foggy like London and a Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> exactly. Sherlock Holmes. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. He punts this one high in the air. Number 83 calls for the fair catch. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, wow, that took you know a that? big bounce for them. Three. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. And they've got their work cut out for them on this drive. I doubt they'll take any chances here. <laughs> Safety. And under three minutes to That's go in the first gross. quarter, the score, UNLV 7, East Carolina 2. They're lined up for the free kick following that safety. That's a good punt. That was a really good punt for a safety. Before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. It's first and 10, ball in the 29. The Rebel line up in a nickel back. They'll throw on first down. Across the middle. Oh, somebody has. Oh, there we go. I was like, somebody has to pick that. Cody might be on. Nope. So close, though. Nice pick by the safety. Safety that time just sitting back there looking at the quarterback. And once it was thrown, he knew exactly where it was going and he made the pick. I was about to say, somebody Everyone has to pick that. Know this one. Now go make it happen. Burns is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Here's the give. Makes a move. McCullough brings him down. Nothing gained on the play. All right, second and one. In this from the nine. It's a safer play. Is it safer, though? Like, for real? In the red zone again. Oh, Let's geez. see if it'll be another touchdown. Moran options out. Oh, he laterals the Burns. Ball. Spins up. Oh, the there's nowhere to go. In the backfield. They lose three yards there. In this long yard situation, you just got to go out there and perform your best. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. The Pirates line up with six defensive backs. Moran hands it off. No, play fake. Ah, uh, I had a wide open guy in the end zone. I hit the wrong button. I will just take our three, though. Bring out the kick team. Just going to take our three. for the easy three here. He gets it up. I mean, when Harmon Tedesco is your kicker, nothing's really easy, but I'll take it. What just happened. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Dun, 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 dun. Brady fields it at the seven. The sack. Well, Dickerson's making some plays we'll on special teams. The field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 22. UNLV puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Back to pass. He's going left. Oh my God. Cody with a takedown. What a catch, and that's going to give him a first down. Well, that's a big play for the offense, but I think the defense needs to play a little bit tighter in the secondary. First and ten, ball on the 41. Linebackers move over. He drops back. He steps up, looking. Okay. Give me that. <laughs> Number 43 with the interception, and down he goes. Easy money. The defense now has two interceptions in the ball game, and that's two more than the quarterback wanted to throw. 
Now he's got to go back out there and play smart. Finally made a kick, right? Harmon stays missing kicks like that. To be able to put that out of his mind and act like it never happened. Which one? First or second interception? I say both. He's looking. He's got uh, Eric Long. Damn. And falls incomplete. Caught, but out of bounds by the tight end. Heck of an effort here by the tight end to come down with the football. The only problem is he couldn't get a foot in. High formation here. Oh, they shifted the linebackers that way. He's oh. on the run. Here they come. And now he's going to improvise. Good run, Moran. Good awareness on that scramble there. Please answer this question for me. Where was the defense on that play? You can't let a pocket type quarterback run on your defense like that. There's no excuse for that kind of play on defense. The problem there, coach, is they dropped everybody back in coverage and left enough running room for the big guy to get a first down. The defense needed that one. How about the move here by this cornerback? Great play that time, getting a hand on the football. All right. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 30. 41. 41 seconds to go on the cool. Little handoff. Defense. Oh, damn, bro. Come on, O-line. So the defensive lineman comes up with a big stop. I'd come out throwing here. You know you got a ways to go for the wide receiver crosses. Try to hit Agassi. Third down, Hopefully he won't team. drop it. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Moran drops back, looks over. Oh my God, I had Gore in there. Not on target at all this drive, guys. Adam, Adam. Now is Harmon gonna make a 50 yarder? I doubt it, but we're gonna try it regardless. This is way too far to go for it, and it's way too close to the punt. Oh, he's gonna miss anyways. The kick is up. Not even close. And it's no good. It lands short. They'll set up shot at the 33 yard line. Number 45, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. Looking. Oh, good job, Paula. And it's incomplete. And a great job that time. Paul is out here just enforcing things. Well, let me tell level. you something. That wide out was left out to dry that time. Woo. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 33. Six DBs in the lineup. Snap is high. He's going left. Uh, nice throw. And that one was a little off target. Yeah, he had a little too much mustard on that one. Yeah, their quarterback he is just tripping right now. a little bit more touch on those passes and let the receivers go get it. UNLV has all their DBs in for this five-wide set. Back to pass. Wants to throw outside. Damon McCray. And he's brought down. That's how you get a first down. Uh. He took a risk and went for the long ball. And boy, did it pay off. Excellent play call. First and ten. We had everybody one on one, so I guess that was bound to happen. It's ten to two after one. And we've come to the end of the first quarter with the score: UNLV ten, East Carolina two. It's first and ten. Ball on the thirty-nine yard line. Number forty-five lines up as a single back. He drops back. Steps up. He's going. Give me that. Into traffic and it's picked. Walker with the pick, baby. The stop. That's just great defense all around right here. The corner plays a very disciplined zone and steps right in front of the play. Let's give some credit to those big kids up front who are hustling after that quarterback. They were in his face on that play. And as a quarterback, you just have to make a better decision than throwing it out there and turning it over. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. They'll get the ball here at the 42 yard line. The Rebel line up in an I formation. Here's the option. And now he pitches. Oh, crap. He broke his ankle. All right, well, he's gobbled up. Couldn't back. get back to the line, but. And the linebacker was able to run him up in the backfield. Still a good effort to like juke the guy out and shit, but just didn't work out. The Rebel go with the I formation. 
Nice play fake. He's looking. Throws. Oh my god. Oh, come on, I guess he. Kirk, he threw that one right into coverage. Yeah, Brad, that is a cardinal rule. You never throw into tight coverage like that. There are a lot of guys out there that have so much confidence in their arms, they think they can squeeze the ball into a tight little space the size of a donut hole. Moran steps back to pass. Complete. Uh, drop in for a loss. Damn it. Three and out. Yeah, the defense did a great job of winning that series. Well, I wouldn't try anything dumb here. You got to play field position game. The special teams coach sends his punt team out on the field. He punts it. Number three. Field to 26. Damn it. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll take over at the 36. The Rebels bring in their dive package. Drops back to pass. Throws short. And it's a good gone. tackle. Brought down. Six yard pickup. Second and four coming up here. Ball on their own 42. All right. UNLV lines up in a dime defense here. Oh, good hit wire. That might have been oh, P.I. Nice but well, they never call it when they do it, so they better, they better not call it on me in that situation. The Rebel line up with out of the mad as shit. Throws to the middle. Bro, come on. They'll bring him down. They convert on third and long, Jesus guys. Christ. Well, the offense coming through in a big way that time. How about the timing on that route, coach? Yeah, Kirk, the quarterback was able to throw to a spot, and the receiver was there to catch it for a first and ten. Nice play. East Carolina lines up with three receivers. It's East Carolina, motherfucker. Which is right. Trick play might not work. He's going to... There's no... <laughs> There's no fucking way. They made a great connection there for the touchdown, didn't they, fellas? What a quarterback threw a strike to wide receiver. I had him right there. What a dangerous And then just about how good that throw was. That's wild. That is insane. Here we go. They'll try to tie it up right here with a two point conversion. And they do. God damn it, bro. Just over five minutes now remaining in the second quarter. And the ECU's not on our level, bro. We should not be playing that one like this. Number 10, ready to kick. He kicks it. Number 83, fields it in the end zone. A little shake and bake Ooh. with the spin. Good return. The defense did a nice job of shutting down this offense the last time they had the ball. The offense was not clicking at all. Let's see if they're back on the side. All right, let's get them right back here. They'll throw on first down. Under pressure. Oh, I couldn't even throw it. Good lord. They were bringing a heavy rush on that one. Brad, that's what happens if the quarterback holds the ball too long, waiting for his receivers to get open. Second and long. All on their own. All right, guys, come on. Wake up here. UNLV comes out with an eye formation. Moran with a nice play fake. Throws Downs is all up in the way, but it's all good because we got Agassi. Oh, come on, Agassi. Go. 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 Oh, he's so close to scoring. At the one yard line. What do you think of that one, Mr. Corso? Well, I'm going to say that was a nice catch. He got a bunch of yards there, and that's going to spread this defense out a little. So close to scoring. We're just gonna QB sneak it. Let's stop bullshitting with them. Just stop bullshitting with them. Let's see if they can punch this one. Here we go, Moran. The quarterback took it in for six. The key to that play was the push by the Good shit, baby. Line. They said we're gonna run right at you, and you can't stop. It. Mm -hmm. 
And he tacks on the extra point. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Number 99 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number three fields it at the one. Good tackle. Thanks to some nice passing on the last drive, the offense was able to take it down the field for six. And great play calling to help make that an easy drive. The question is, can they do it again? First and ten. Ball on the 19. First and ten. UNLV brings in the nickel here. They'll throw on first down. Look, he's got to throw it in a hurry. Oh, damn. McCray brings him down. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. It's first and 10, ball on the 34. Ace backfield. Drums for you? What's good, John? I like both of them, but I like drums a little bit more. Was called for holder. That's just me. Like, I get why people get all flats, but it's like, I'm kind of lazy when I, like, I mean, I'm not trying to have to, like, work to, you know, to like, you know, eat food and shit, which is why, like, I'm not, like, the biggest seafood fan. I know it sounds, like, really lazy, and it probably is, but, yeah. Back to pass. He tosses it short, complete, and he's tackled. Just a minute, folks. There's a penalty on that. I can do both also. Yeah, like. Oh, they got us for the face mask. I thought they were gonna get us for PI for a second, but you know what? They got a little bit of help there. Yeah, they sure. Yeah, I like I like a little I like a mix. This defense is gonna give them out I'll definitely eat some. Like if it's like half drums, half flats, I'll take it. Like, you know. And nowadays, you want to eat now? Thank you, John. A little misdirection. Thank you. And they make the stop. Like, I don't like getting dishes where it's like, like, you know, like those shrimp dishes where they leave the shrimp tails on. Like, I'm not trying to, like, have, have to, like, peel every single, like, I like a shrimp scampi. I'm not trying to have to peel, like, every single shrimp to eat the damn scampi, you know what I'm saying? They go with a toss. And he's going to lose yards on this one. Excellent play by the defense that time. That's just me, though. Because it's like, back to the line. It's more like, when it comes to food, bro, like, I'm not trying to have to, like, do extra work. Unless it's, like, a cra like, I'll definitely go to, like, a crab feast or whatever. Because, I mean, they're popular. I live in Maryland, so obviously, like, you know. Seafood and football is kind of what we do. But, all right, good tackle, 21. And the catch results in a first down, barely. Yeah, barely is right. They gave him the first? In that, spot. Whoa. that was a terrible spot. I don't know. I don't know if I'd sit. Nah, nah, you know what? Actually, he had poor progress. That's fair. Because where he caught the ball, yeah, I can see it. He, he like, just broke the plane at the first down marker. Just barely. Number 45. I can't do that. Back, eye formation. Like at first glance, I was like, nah, that's not a completion. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. Oh, got another face mask. On that play. Let's see what the Hell no, I'm not paying you to fix my food and I just want to eat. If I, if I fix it, I'll eat it at home. Yeah, exactly, John. It's too much work, bro. Be out here trying to eat. You betcha. And that's the worst How's everything on your end, though, John? It's good to see you in here, bro. Uh, hope everything is going well for you, bro. Rebel. Line up in a nickel back. I say bro a lot. I'm like Vince Russo out here. Here's an option. Right side. E lateral. They'll bring him down. The tailback picks up. Did anybody end up watching Dynamite last night? Because that opening segment Second and seven. Ball the was pretty damn good. It was like one of their better opening segments. Like, it's cool when they open up with matches, but just like they line up in the red zone. And they open up with like a segment like they did yesterday with MJF. Oh my God, we have another touchdown. The quarterback threw a pretty ball. Big shotty lead. But don't forget about the catch. The receiver made one heck of a grab too. Uh. Oh God. Uh, I don't know, like the inside of my nostril right here is itching like crazy. Getting to watch Auburn in the NCAA tournament. Hopefully you guys do well.
had to listen to Eagles. You're good, bro. The fact you even give me some of your bandwidth is all gravy. Still have to watch Dynamite. Yeah. Overall, wasn't like it was a really good show. It was a really solid show, I would say. Like the opening segment was great, though. His Jungle Boy cut probably his best promo in his career. Virginia ruined some people's brackets again. You know what's funny? You know what's funny about that? I actually picked a Furman to beat them in my in the only bracket I did, just because I had a hunch Virginia's gonna blow it again somehow. So I actually picked Furman to win the game. It was Furman they played, right? I might be wrong about that. I do, I just know I picked against Virginia. That's all I remember. Yeah, it was Furman. Okay. Yeah, I picked Furman to win. And I'm in um RSV's bracket pool that he started. And it's like, I was like one of the two perfect brackets because I also picked Maryland to beat West Virginia too. I don't remember what the rest of my bracket is because I'm really not that invested. I put forty dollars into like a pool, like it's like a square pool for it, where it's like I always have a chance to like win pretty much, like at work. But it's like I, I didn't, I wasn't invested enough to put money into like an actual bracket pool or anything like that. So I mean, I picked Purdue to win at all though because Zach Eady is him. Back to pass, under heavy pressure. Looks, throws, complete. They get four yards on that. Dude, it's always Virginia losing team, bro. I mean, it inside until the defense. It was a big deal where I live at when UMBC beat Virginia, because obviously it was the first time a 16 had ever beaten a one in the men's tournament, and like UMBC is a local school, and actually. My older sibling, who, I, I, who I always talk about, who, my older nibbling, I'll just call them, I went to UMBC for like a year, or like a semester, if I remember correctly. I think they went there for like a year, a year and a half. So, it was like a big deal when that happened. Your mom, your mom has Baylor win it. That's a safe pick. I mean, Baylor, didn't Baylor win it a couple years ago? Not giving him any room to create anything. So, I mean, that's a safe pick. And this is the sixth play of the drive. He drops back. Looking. Throws it deep oh, down. Come on. Agassi. Oh, what a heck of a defensive play. You are so soft, bro. There's only one word to describe you. I'm going to spell it out for you. S A W F T. Soft. East Carolina lines up in a Where did my boy Big Bill? Over the middle. Oh, look at my man McDingleberry out here making plays. So on third down, they pick up the first and a lot more. When that kid caught the ball, he wasn't thinking about first down. He was thinking touchdown. All right, let's see if Burns can get it. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Burns gets a call. Let's go, Burns. ECU's definitely giving me they're giving me everything we can handle right now they're giving us everything we can handle right now but we got the lead again the chiseled Adonis did college basketball vids they would get flamed over here he usually does like the final four but yeah I mean I feel like he might just make a video just roasting the shit out of him that's what he usually does big ups to chiseled Adonis Dude is definitely one of my favorite content creators. Looks ready to kick this one off. And Good kick by Mango. This one. Great kick. Number three. Feels it in the end zone. Ooh, tackle. good tackle. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're gonna get We got a chance to get a two for here though. You know the worst part I had a feeling they were gonna Bro, that's why I picked them. I just had a hunch. I was like, you know what? From the gun. I don't know much about Furman, but I know Virginia like always crumbles in these situations. So, although it's funny because the year after they lost to UMBC, they ended up winning the Natty, and then since then they just haven't really done anything. That was cr like they lost. They went from being humiliated to winning the Natty the next year. There we go. Timeout. UNLV. This dude threw the basketball, to, bro, because he was trying to throw it away. 
Like, I get what he was trying to do, but that was just a dumb play to make. Third and 13 coming up. Let's take the foul. Lowest of lows at the highest of highs to the lowest of lows again. What's up, Elite? Formation here. Up the middle with a fullback. I'll get him. Off, it would be tackler. Lee brings him down. You and right. takes a timeout. Hopefully they just do a they just absolutely botch this punt. And then we'll have a shot at getting some points. I think this is their first punt of the Come game. Out in a punt formation. Number 10, uh, it, and it's a good one. Number 83, takes it to 33. Oh, he fumbled it. Agassi, come on, dude. He's being thrown into interception, right? That man got picked. And it was essentially a pick six. Oh, he playing Arkham Origins. Okay. Excellent, the, the excellent game choice there, the Elite. To get the first down. That's an elite. Dare I say that's an elite game choice. They'll set up shot. All right, we do have one timeout, so we could throw it over the middle of Gorn's open. Drop back to pass. Looks. All right, come on, Agassi. Come on, Agassi. Let's go, Agassi. Reed with a takedown. All right, we're gonna use our timeout right here. This is where you just go with what you're playing. Slowly playing through the Batman series. I feel you. I played part of Arkham Asylum. I just haven't like finished it. Oh, that was close. Alright. Quick throw here. I'm looking for Boston here, honestly. Oh, he dropped the touchdown! What a hit to knock that ball. Oh, alright, we'll take our three. Couldn't hold on that one for a touchdown. That would have been a spectacular reception. Boston would have had a touchdown if he caught that. Comes in. Got to see that one more time. He had it, and then the guy just ripped it out of his hands. <laughs> Halftime show by Big Sean performing bounce back, right? And Wolves as well. He gets it. He's got to play Wolves too. He got it. As soon as he threw it, I'm like, yeah, they're going to score a quick three, and then they're not going to have enough time to shoot it. Yep. And we've reached halftime here. The score at the break. It was ballsy going for the three on um, Furman's side, though. Because all they need is a two to go to OT, but, like, nah. We're going for the winner of the wash. Two seed zone about to lose a 15 seed Princeton. Hello? I know a lot of people who are picking Arizona to win it all, too. Number 83. Oh my god, bro. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know. There's like three seconds left. To you by EA Sports. As a coach, you gotta be concerned with what the defense is throwing at. Damn Zona. I had them losing in the natty. Oh man. I don't remember where I had him at, but I think I had him going pretty deep. Looking. Throws this one out to the right. Oh, good defense. Almost picked off. They just couldn't capitalize on the bad pass. Yeah, I thought the defender had it, but he couldn't get the pick. So it's right, let's give it to Burns here. Yard line. High formation here. Moran gives it up the middle. Nowhere to go. I could have kicked it right. A one yard loss. Yep. Princeton got it. Damn, dude. You gotta execute in this long yarded situation. I don't I don't remember where I had them. I'm gonna have to look at the ESPN yard. app real quick. Burns. I mean, it's not the end of the world because I'm really not invested, like I said, but still. Come on, Agassi. Good catch. He's gone. Agassi. That's some redemption right there, baby. He's on a different level than everybody else, Coach. He sure is, my friend. This kid is a real deep threat. He can stretch the defense and cause a lot of problems for the secondary. All right, let's see what my bracket is looking like. Probably busted. My bracket is probably busted. Check my men's bracket. Oh, I didn't fill out a bracket on this one. So, I gotta look online then. <laughs> I mean, through the first two games, I had a perfect bracket because of uh, Furman. 
I don't know. Like, this year, I'm just not really invested in it this year. Like, because... I mean... Past two jobs I've had, I haven't really had anybody who was, who was like that invested in sports outside like my boy who's like heavy into soccer. It's like really with soccer, I only watch the World Cup and I watch Man City play. Like I don't really care about shit else. They'll get the ball here at the 20 yard line. UNLV has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Like, I don't know. I like soccer. It's just you know. Over the middle. I don't like it as much as I like football or basketball. A good throw plus a nice catch and some good blocking equals to a chunk of yards. That's exactly what you practice all the time, Brad. They shift on their defensive front. They hit off. Good tackle. Pick up a yeah, so those for those of you guys who didn't see like any of my posts today, um, we're not gonna play Madden today. We're just we're gonna do the playoffs in its entirety tomorrow after work. And they have then bunch. I'll actually I'm gonna get WWE 2K23 tomorrow, so I'll start working on your guys tomorrow. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And then I think week after next we'll start to use UWA. Like once we hit eight, we'll start it in April. UNLV put six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Back to pass. Throws off his back. Ooh, good job, McCray. Great defensive play by the cornerback. And we get the ball back. We scored 17 unanswered so far, guys. Got to keep it going. To it away. It's away and it's a boom. That's a good punt. That is a good punt. Number 83. But he out punted his entire coverage team. Good return by Agassi. That's the problem when you have those good punts. Like, you outkick your coverage and then you're just SOL. It doesn't even feel like it's, like, windy, though. So, I got to see what this punter's ratings are looking like. He's a 99. Good Lord. He's that 99 kick power. Good gravy. That man's a beast. East Carolina brings in the nickel here. Moran options out to the left. Pitches back. Ooh. And down he goes. That's a 10-yard gain. Right, Burns is starting to get some yards again. Power football is all about. You got to be able to run between the tackles. High formation here. Again with the run. He's oh, we got a raid. He spins. Let's go. And he reeled off a big one there. Hello, Bear Man. Stoner. Coming through with the raiding party of 11. Thank you so much for the raid, my guy. Hey, Randy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Cray Click, my dude. Everybody from Stoner's community, welcome in. My name is Kaz Cray. I'm the creator you require. Give me the content you desire. And today... We are playing some NCAA football 2005. I'm playing in the Liberty Bowl against ECU. Uh, we had a bit, not even a down season. We lost a few games that we probably shouldn't have lost. So, no BCS for us. No Natty for us, obviously. No BCS Bowl for us. I'm thinking maybe this might be our last year in the Mountain West. Maybe we'll move up to the Pac-10 if we're lucky. But we'll have to see. Maybe the Big 12. I'll take either or. Big 12 would be fun just because it'd be fun to play a conference championship game, but no. Oh, crap. I threw it right at him. Thought I was falling. I mean, to be honest, I stopped streaming on Twitch for a while, so it's like... You may very well have been following me before, but like once I stopped streaming on Twitch, you might have just unfollowed. Or maybe you just subbed to me on YouTube. I don't even know, but it's all good. But yeah, Stoner, I hope your stream went well, bro. I hope everything is well on your end. And Burns... Is doing very well. What was the secret to that touchdown, Coach? Hustle, hustle, and more hustle. The running back never gave up on that play, and that's why he got in there. And we're just beating the brakes off EC. Uh, I almost called him ECW. <laughs> just EC single U. <laughs> Not ECW. EC single U. No, you subbed on YouTube. That probably would. Well, that was probably what it was because I've been really like. Hot and cold on Twitch just because Twitch is such a janky platform, but 
Now I just I'm not letting people like sub to me or like drop bits in here anymore because I'm not in the affiliate program anymore. So now I can just kind of use Twitch just to like get a following and then just have some people come to YouTube. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm more active on YouTube than I am on Twitch. So I highly recommend you guys sub to me on YouTube. And that's like kind of where my bread and butter Andy goes. At work, thanks for taking care of the Nub fan for me anytime, Stoner. Uh, hope, I hope you're, you're going live again later tonight, right? I might go to bed early because I have a long work day ahead of me tomorrow, but I'll definitely try to pop in the stream later tonight. Hopefully this horny continues to go well. Hopefully you guys brackets, if you guys have made brackets, is, aren't brackets, brackets aren't as um, janky as some of them might be. Because I know Virginia losing screwed a lot of people. Arizona just lost, so that definitely screwed a lot of people. But at Purdue win, so as long as Purdue wins, we're good. And Kaz is a great dude. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. I'm joking. I'm, I'm pretty Second and six. Okay, though. Ball on the 24-yard line. Six DBs in the lineup. I appreciate you, Randy. Thank you so much, bro. Toss. Oh, that's going to be a face mask, of course. And they threw a flag on that. I got to stop going for the strips now, because obviously it's not working. Obviously, it's not doing what I needed to do. He took him down using his face mask, and that'll be a 15-yarder. You betcha. And that's the worst way to all right. man down. That's all good. It, off, refs. The line it is all gravy. A little. Oh, let me go. He's Kemba. Back to pass. He lets it go. Oh, they ran a screen. Tackle. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards under But Nug fam, welcome yeah, in the to the Cray Click. Portion. Hope you guys are having a great day so far, like I said. Can open things up for the big play. The uh, we're going to be playing some... If anybody's interested in Pokemon, after we do the offseason, we're going to be continuing my Pokemon Emerald Hardcore Nuzlocke. So definitely stick around if you want to see some Pokemon. Pokemans. One yard on the play. We're heading to uh, face... We're heading to battle Watson. They're down in so, four that should be interesting. Ball. Watson play and Flannery are both like relatively hard we'll line up in a jumbo to like here. battle in this game. I still got to like deal with uh, Team Magma as well. Ooh, wire. That was a good play. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. All right, he's probably going to. It's either going to be a touchback or a coffin corner here. This punter is booting it today. He has like 99 it's a high kick power. Kick and it holds up there. All right. Yeah, gonna a catch. For a fair catch, and they That's a good fair kick. Catch at the 11. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see. Hey, Specta. Thank you for the lurk, my boy. On the ground with the tailback. Quick playing with me as well. Yeah, nowhere to go. Oh, man. He'll feel that one in the morning. That's called making a state. When you get into the backfield like that and put somebody on their back, it really sends a message. Burn lines up in the deep I back. Mean, eye formation. The message I'd send to you guys is that we're up 41 to 17. Oh, come on, Burns. Come on, Burns. There we go, Burns. And he got the first. And he pulls off a great run. Let me tell you something. This kid is a good running back, and I haven't seen moves like that since my high school prom, sweetheart. <laughs> That's wild. You don't want to scare off any of our viewers. Pitch left. Ooh. And down he goes. He gains a couple. Six percent of brackets are not ruined. You gotta pound Damn. it and pound it inside until the defense. <laughs> Between Virginia and Arizona, I can imagine. Ball on their own twenty-four. It's that time of the year, though. Three wideouts here. Moran drops back. Oh damn. Man on the screen. That's a loss of four yards. It's all good. When you're up 41 to 17, it's really like hard to really be down about a play like that. We're up by 24 points. So. so I told my mom I like the tournament because you don't know who's actually going to win. Exactly. It's not as linear as like college football even is. There's Agassi. And he fumbled it like a jabroni. Oh, no. They might take it back. And this could be a big return. They did. The Good lord. Touchdown, ECU. 
Coach, what happened there? I'll tell you what happened. The wideout wasn't carried the ball like he should, and the defender made a nice play to jar it loose. Uh, Agassi is just a disaster Going waiting to happen, just right like them boys. Here. By, by them boys, I mean the Cowboys, not the Briscoes. R.I.P. J. Briscoe. Oh, good defense. They don't get it. Oh, he dropped it in the end zone. That, my friend, is one of the worst things that can happen to a player. You got to touch that in. You dropped it. All right. It's an 18-point game, though. We're still up by three scores. Walker fields it in the end zone. Oh, come on, Walker. Come on, Walker. All right. Good return. The last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I hate to see that if it happens again. They'll go to work at the 23. Moran with four wide receivers. Looking. Watch the oh, Boston. There we go. Finds his receiver. Good Bates catch by Boston. Down to the 48. What a what hit. A yeah. Standing play that was. They hit they hitting out here. Perfectly designed pass play. And they ran They're not covering great, but they're hitting. It's first and ten. Ball right around midfield. On the ground, left side. Oh, good block. Come on, Addy. Good run. They call his number, and he carries for six yards. This pitch play is a good call here. I'd get my guy psyched up the block out there. Second and four. Ball on the 42-yard line. Back to pass. He's looking. He's going to try and scramble. On Moran. Pressure, and they make the stop. As a player, you got to love a good challenge. And converting this crucial first down is a challenge here. Third down and four coming Defense. up on this Defense. Ball in the 42. He's under pressure. Damn it, bro. He'll make the sack. A big time play by the defense. Well, he just really overpowered the offense there. He simply used power to slide right through and come up with a pressure to bring right. down the quarterback. Mango. They send out the punting unit. Big juicy mango. Number 99 gets it off. It's a low line drive. Covington calls for the fair catch. Good pun. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. They had something going, but were unable to get any points. They'll set right, they got the ball at the six yard line, it looks like. The Rebel bring in their dive package. They keep it on the ground with a uh, tailback. Get him there, we he go. It. And he's taken right. down. They keep it on the ground and the halfback. Well, I'm pretty sure it's going to go to the fourth quarter now, so make sure you guys get them fours in the chat. Both YouTube, Twitch, and even on Kick if you're on there. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is UNLV 41, East Carolina 23. It's that East Coast motherfucker. Second and three. Ball on the 13. Number 45, the lone back. He drops back. Looks under pressure. He's going right. Found his man. And he hauled that one in for a first down. Boy, that's a big time play. Did an excellent job there of getting separation from the defender, and he's able to pull down that pass for quite a few yards. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. <laughs> Shatters glass. <laughs> What's good, Mamba? How you doing, BB? Oh, God. Oh, God. Get him. Inside the 30. How about your assessment of that long play, Kirk? Well, Brad, not only a big pass play, but anytime you can stretch a defense on first or second down like this, you're going to open up your running game. Happy 316, BB. Hey, happy 316 to you as well, Mamba. First and 10. How's it going, my guy? Yard line. Number 45 lines up as a single back, drops back to pass, looking down the middle. Ooh, he was about to get owned. He just let his wide out. He was about to get smid act. So it's second and ten. That boy's about to get molly whopped like crazy. Number seven is back in the gun. Back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. 
Oh my god, Lee. You're so trash, bro. Makes a big catch there. Hey, when you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the work. Listen up, my friend. That was a tremendous throw by What a perfect day when hell's already broke loose in March Madness. Maybe it's because it's 316. Exactly. Good bro. Finally home from working some dinner. How's your day been? My day's been pretty decent so far. Just trying to enjoy the day off before I have to actually work on my day off tomorrow because it's St. Patty's Day. Alright, we gotta run this clock down because it looks like ECU's trying to make this a game. Walker and number 83 back ready to return. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number 83 fields it in the end zone. He tries to spin. And now we'll see the offense come out out of the field for their next possession. In this situation, you've got to trust the quarterback's decision making. Well, I can imagine it's ain't Patty's Day gets normal drunk, motherfuckers. At least I work in the morning, so. Like, I'll get off at like 5 and not have to deal with those jabronis. Two yards at the most on the fullback. But, you know. I'd run it down their throats here. Nothing too special. It's second down. I'll get, a, I'll get off at like 5. Yard line. Probably come home, eat some dinner, and then I'll probably go live at like seven tomorrow. I'm thinking. Burn on a counter. Oh, I was trying to juke him. Brings him down. A seven-yard run by the running back. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on the thirty. Drum gang, hey, I'm drum gang as well. They put everyone up on the line. Good run by Moran. So I'll have some flat. That's my thing. Like I will eat both. Like it seems there's so many people who are like anti drums. I'm like, bro, they're both bomb. Like I don't get up. I don't get like. Like I prefer drums, but it's like I'll eat them both. Like people like request all that. So like, what a catch! What a catch! And that's gonna get my first. Because there's a lot of people who always request all flats. I'm like, bro, come on now. More meat, less work on the drum. Exactly. First and ten, and this is the fifth play of the. People say that flats are more meat. I'm like, eh. It really depends on like what the flat looks like. But I've seen I've seen some really skimp flats in my day. I used to work at a beat up, so it's like I I definitely have seen my fair share of really skinny flats. Nickel defense up the middle. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. And that was not a good call offensively. Nah, not a good call. Only because they lost yardage. I'll tell you, I've seen plays like this where the tailback breaks one and goes for a touchdown. You're right, Lee. You can never tell. Burn is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He's Ooh, on the space. Here they come. My Marina. Four yards there on the Flats look like my <laughs> wait a minute, Mama. Everyone should know this one. Now go make Wait a minute. I try to draw the defense off sides here. Sometimes on fourth and short they get a little over anxious out there. Illinois is about to Arkansas. Oh boy. Do or die time. It's do or die, man. Come on, jump off. Jump off sides. You know you want to. You know you want to. You want to be takes a time out. You gotta go out there and compete. Be a competitor. Tell your kids that this is where they earn their stripes. Let's go ace spread. Let's go back to that same play triangle. With four wide receivers. He drops back. Oh, it's open. Moran has it. First down. He's got Slot. Oh, okay. And a big gain on a quarterback scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off, and all the quarterback has to do was run to the vacant spot on the field. And don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback recognizing the coverage and having the courage to tote it downfield. UNLV lines up with three receivers. Looking, he's under some crap baskets. It's uh, good defense. How about that one? Derek Carr and Madden would have fumbled that dive right. Football, but you know what? That ball was up for grabs and could have easily been picked off. Happened to me many times. I can imagine. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Fucking Derek Carr. Moran comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. 
Under heavy well scramble. Has some daylight. Decides to slide. slide. A big gain for the quarterback. I'll tell you what, guys. This guy's pretty athletic. Just like you when you played at the old Buckeye Street. I don't think this was a design play, but it worked like it was. And you're right. If I'm the coach, I'd let this kid run it more. Burn. Ah, uh, damn. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Here, the tailback had really nowhere to go. The defense does a good job of getting penetration, and they were able to wrap him up for a loss. It's second down, 15 to go. Walk. Why are you guys running up to the line, bro? Like, we're winning. Take our time. Moran drops back to pass. We're going to take He's our time. Around. Here comes the pressure, and down he goes. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. That's a bunch of yards to go for a first down. My halfback option. I just throw the ball down the field, and maybe you'll get lucky. UNLV sets up with four receivers. Moran running the option. Now he pitches it. Come on, Burns. Damn. And he's tackled, and they pick up nine there. You better kick it here. We're gonna go for it. It's risky, but it's all good. Scared by the old man. Here comes the field goal. Nope, wait. They're gonna go for it here. I'm gonna try to get them off sides here. UNLV calls the timeout. Damn it. to kick the field goal. Come on, jump, you fools. Jump, jump. Make you wanna jump, jump. Jump, 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 jump. Let's go. Let's go. We got him to jump. This is why you have a kicker. Let the kid do his thing. QB sneak time. Shot the crest cross exactly. Four, three. Oh, we got the touchdown. Let's go. Yeah, we got an injured player on the field. Ran over that D tackle to get in. Let's go. Now he's hurt. Man, just ran over him. I only wanted the first there, but we got the tutty. No need to go for two. Just kick the extra. We put up 48 points on ACU. We're gonna lock up. And Our second Liberty Bowl in three years. Right. Major tidy for Yoma Viami, the commander's new mascot. Exactly. <laughs> whoop there, whoop and, yeah, we were beating the brakes off him. Kick. It was a close game before the half, and then we ended up getting a touchdown in the field goal to end the half. Number three. We got a touchdown to open up the well, half, so, uh, the second half. So. Now it is just complete line. domination. They got back into it a little set. bit after getting a uh, scoop and score, but there's the play fake down the middle. Oh crap! Good Locked tackle. Down. And they get the first down on that completion, coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the. Oh, they're going no the huddle now. Plenty of time to look downfield. Number 45 is the single setback. Setting up the play action uh, across the middle. Complete. They'll bring him down. What a close game. Then Kaz up and up that candle will pass for 316 Apparently, to A, bro. Just started stopping mud holes into him and everything. Defense with a certain play, you run it and you run it off. East Carolina lines up in a double tight set. Oh. They keep going either low or high on that, that, on that play. He is blasted. These wideouts should try to bulk up more because, man, they could get hurt. 
Second and 10, ball on the 49. UNLV has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Look, he's looking down the middle. Ah, complete pass. A little too much. Here come the boo birds. The quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too The boo birds. Tries to put too much on it. Got to relax and just make a good throw. UNLV with six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Drop back to pass. Over. Ah. Oh. Great concentration. Wow, a long gain, but still not enough for the first. Well, the offense hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second. So the defense, they have to put two Fourth and two. On that third down. They're going to go for it on fourth and short. They don't really have much of a chance. They're going to go for it. And he, oh, he hit me with the spin and move, though. Down. And he just gets it up for the first Good down. play. Hello. That'll get your heart beating. Have a look at our old spice players of the game. Red zone, when performance matters the most. Here's a pitch left side. Oh. Cody Good tackle. with a takedown. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Oh, we got called for offsides. It was 21 who got called. Okay. They get the flag for jumping. They said 21. Can you do something for me? So. And he did something for First me. First down and five to go. Ball on the 32. UNLV has all their DBs in for this five wide set. Once right, good defense. Second down and five. This is the eighth play of this drive. The D line moves to the inside. He drops back. Throws to the middle. Oh, crap. There he goes. And down he Damn. goes. First down, what a pass. Boy, that was a big-time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Looking, rolls to the right. He's yeah, you better throw that away. He gets rid of this one. Same better. Play. Good defense that time. Third down. It's second down and ten to go. Oh, second is never the play of the drive. UNLV put six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Back to pass. Throws this one out to the Oh, come on, give me the pick. Oh, the pick and he dropped it. The pass was knocked down. This defense is very aggressive, and they swarm to the football. They're always making plays to disrupt the passing game. The Pirates set up in the gun. Drops back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Short toss. I can tackle. Why? Open field tackle. East Carolina takes a timeout. And they're gonna go for it. No surprise. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. Let's see if the defense is ready for him here. Oh, almost picked it. Almost intercepted. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. You got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Well, we'll run the, run the clock out the now. Team. Wrap up year right. three with three another receiver. Liberty Bowl. I'll try to power it with a pullback. Brought down a five yard. What up, Ray? How's it going, fam? When you got the ball with the lead, you just want to run it inside and work that ball clock down. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 18 yard line. The Pirates line up in a nickel back. Burn on the run, and he's taken down, and not too much there on that run. Not too much, but the key here is try to milk as much. Let's get CC. Not much, my boy. How are you feeling? I'd give it I'm feeling good. I'd have him he's locked up. up the Another Liberty uh, Liberty Bowl. The Liberty Bowl.
And that's the end of the Chris Johnson. Kirk, any final thoughts here? You know, I think it was a well-played game. I don't know if he's on this team. East Carolina probably feels they should have won this game. I really don't know if Chris Johnson's on this team, to be honest with you. To. But well, that'll wrap up another chapter in NCAA football. GG. Appreciate the GG elite. Final count, UNLV 48, East Carolina. I'm about to look that up, honestly. This is Brad Nessler for Lee Corson. We got the dub. No interceptions thrown. We just had a bad fumble by Agassi, but he, hopefully he cleans that up after this year. Cause good lord, man. But let's take a look at the stats for the game. Alex Moran, fourteen to twenty-seven, three hundred seventy yards and a touchdown. It was sacked twice. Zach Burns at eighty-two yards and two touchdowns on uh, twenty-six carries. Alex Moran had 14 carries, 76 yards, and two touchdowns. And Addy had a touchdown as well in her return. Uh, DeMarco Agassi, six catches, 262 yards, and a touchdown. He also had a really bad fumble, but, you know, we'll let that slide because he had a good game. And then Drum Gang. Yeah, we out here. <laughs> Drum Gang. All right, then we had three picks. Kemba Walker, Devin Fala, and Jack Cody all had picks. So the youngins making some plays. All right, and then their QB threw three picks. Their running back threw a touchdown. I don't think that's Chris Johnson, though. I don't remember him wearing 45 at any point, but I might be wrong. I'll look him up. Chris Johnson College Ball Reference. There we go. That's not. He wore 24 at one point. He was on the roster, though, at this time, so maybe he was in the game somewhere, but maybe he transferred. I don't know. Yeah, he, he would be a freshman in this game. These notes. All right. So we won the Liberty Bowl for a second time. 11 and 2, nice. Yep. Our only losses were to Oregon and Utah. So, not ideal, but especially the Utah game was just so janky. Honestly, both games were super janky. Like, I don't like making excuses for losses. Like, last year, I got smoked by all these teams because my team sucked. But the Oregon game, we just got hoed. Utah game, we got hoed, like, towards the end of it, so. And it is what it is. You know, we just, we could have played better in both games. I could have played better in both games, but shit happens. I went undefeated the first year. Like, I can't really complain too much. You're running a dynasty with Louisiana Tech and NCAA 08. Ooh. I have NCAA 08 for PS2. NCAA 08 for PS2. Got to get it for the 360, though, too. But I got things to save up for, too, so... Gotta be responsible with my dinero. All right, it's all season time, guys. First, we got to see who wins in the Natty, of course, but it's pretty much off season time now. All right, so we're not actually going to play the game. I'm just going to sim up to it, though. So. LSU versus Iowa. That is such a weird matchup. 
But I was Iowa was pretty good during this time, but you know. Oh eight, cool. That was the first college football game I bought since college football USA was ninety seven. I'm old. I feel you lucky. You like LA uni- LA Tex uniforms? Yeah, they're pretty dope. Let's see who wins this natty though. LSU beats Iowa. Thirty one to twenty eight. That was a close game. So let's see. Oh well, damn! It was thirty-one twenty-one with until like ten seconds left. But Iowa had to make a bit of a comeback late in order to have a chance. But congratulations, LSU wins. Even though Iowa had two hundred-yard rush, uh, rushers. Wild. Ah, uh, of course we're on probation. I was, I kind of expected it. So we have ten less scholarships for two years. That's that horrible. And we don't move up. Lovely. Ouch. I mean, we ran out of uh, discipline points, so I'm not really surprised by that. I don't think we're losing too many people this year, this off season though, so we could probably just like take our take the load off recruiting for a year. Uh, definitely gonna be. We're definitely gonna be walking back some recruiting this year. We're only able to get fifteen guys in, so we're not gonna need any as many points at least. Oh, uh, that sucks. Might as well play some music for this. All right, let's see. Addy's transferring. Damn, Addy is transferring to San Jose State. I'm surprised that Mark Fallow Jr. is not transferring. Lay the smack it down on them, probably. Then number 77 is going to the pros, okay. I'm gonna let Addy transfer, honestly. Mainly just because she done did some, like, she done did a lot of things. Uh, yeah, like, she's already leaving anyway, so fuck it. Alright, so Tyree Goran Jr. will save his ratings. Get him in Madden as well. Same with the number 21. Seventy-seven should be in the game, anyways. So we're gonna have to rebuild our offensive line, pretty much. Do 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 do. I'm sure Charles McCray, uh the third, should be in the draft class, anyways. But you know, you never know. Oh, number ninety-four is a beast. We have to save his ratings as well. That man's an absolute unit, so we've got to bring him back into the series. And of course, we got to get Kendrick McCray in there as well. Man had an amazing junior season, and he's only a 74 overall, so might have to move to safety. <laughs> then David Seeger only kicked one field goal in his entire career, but you know. Are we getting any transfers? Doesn't look like it. Do, 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 do. Nope, nobody's coming to UNLV. Now, let's support the class.
Alright, and if you guys want to claim players, I would highly recommend joining the Discord server. That way, when I post the players tomorrow, whenever I do, you'll be able to claim a player. So, there you go. Doom, doom, doom. Alrighty. I think it's crazy that Dallas really is Zeke. They released Zeke. They had Dak. Or they have Dak, but they had Zeke. But no, they don't have Zeke anymore. All right, let's take a gander at our roster current. I forgot to look at the fucking stats, too. Whoopsie. I keep forgetting to look at stats, like, after the bowl game. I don't think it's not even going to show, like, the senior stats anymore. Oh, well. I'm just showing Addy stats for us. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna overwrite the regular dynasty. What we're gonna do is say this is UNLV. That way, I can go back and look at the stats from after I saved. So. Anybody who's wondering what their stats are, I'll figure it out for them. See? We salvage things, bro. We're, we out here. We are out here. Big brain plays and whatnot. It is saved. It is procured. Alright, now we'll take a look at the roster. At the Rasta. Oh. Returning players. So quarterback, we're good. Still think Moran's going to be the starter. So, alright, so Fala didn't transfer because he's a senior now, so there's no point in him transferring. Alright. We're probably going to move Collier to fullback. We just have McCringleberry and Hughes play tight end. So, I would say our needs right now would be halfback. Wide receiver for sure. Tight end. Tackle for sure. Tackle's like a big priority. Uh, guard might be one. I don't, Curtis Davis didn't even play last year, so.
Oh, Uncle Bucket was second team all Mountain West. Let's go. We're gonna need a kicker as well because Harmon's in his last year. Um, we'll need corner depth for sure. Middle linebacker, we're good for a while because Fallen and Rollins are both gonna be our middle linebackers. Outside linebacker, we're good for a while too. Definitely gonna need D tackle help and D end. Uh, D end might be fine with Marion and Holden. And center, I think, will be fine. All right. O-line's not, like, a big priority outside of tackle. Let's look at their uh, national. Ooh! Rusty Herd. I like Rusty Herd. His discipline's poor, but we'll fuck it. I like Rusty Herd. He's Rusty, and he's the number two player in the nation. I like Rusty Head. I like I like Rusty Spoons. A right, quarterback we don't really need at all. Chris Petty. I like his name at least. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, we don't need a fullback. We need receivers like crazy. Ooh, Drew Kent. Oh no. Elvin Ridgeway, oh poor. Can't fight. Drew Kent. Let's at least see if we can offer Petty something. Program Prestige. What is new? What's good, ESG? We just out here chilling, playing some NCAA. How are you feeling today, bro? And Scotty Stewart. Scotty. Scotty. Yo, just chilling. Good to hear, bro. Good to hear. What you, what's new with you? What you up to? And Chucky Avery. Actually, we gotta look at some defensive players, actually. Actually, actually, actually. Colin Renato. The magnet for trouble. Lovely. What a waste of my scouting. Alright, let's see. DBs. Amos Johnson. Ruben Ashley. Mike Hand. Sydney Weathers. Now right, we'll take a look at those guys then. Omar McFadden. Woo! Alright, yeah, we definitely are looking at him. Omar McFadden. And uh, Jason Russell, I'm not too interested in, honestly. I don't really go after DNs like that. <laughs> Joseph Parham. Parham. Brought in the way on some videos for the YouTube here in a bit. Wanted to check you out. Uh, you stream all doing some editing. I feel that. And Greg Whitley. Greg. We're getting some four star looks. Back. 
your Might as well look at Dustin Howe. And then Dominique Orr. Dominique Orr. Orr. Oh, Mark Tinsley as well. Sydney Allen. <laughs> we're out here balling. On, like, now that we're balling, balling, everybody wants to come over here. Right. <laughs> Ain't got much to do, but just go to the next week. Just hope somebody signs with us. I doubt they will, but hopefully. the content creators uh, grinding all night. Damn, it's almost Aries season, guys. Five more days in this Aries season. How's it going, LV? Today we won the Liberty Bowl, so we ended the season on a high note, eleven and two on the year. So now we're just going through the off season, and then we're gonna switch over to some Pokemans. Oh, we got Rusty Herd. He inked with us because of the promise of playing time. Well, I hope he just stays out of trouble, cause. We don't need no more trouble, but we do need another tackle, though. Alright. Grant. So, he signed with us. Ooh, alright, we're doubling down on that prestige pitch, then. Not interested in tradition. What a hoe. Let's do location, then. Not interested in playing right away. Well, how about location? The new tag team will be in your promotion. Nice. Is he's not interested? Oh, we'll give him location. All right. Check out the other interested party. So Omar McFadden. Program prestige is not a deciding factor for Mr. McFadden. What about location? <laughs> All right, we got a scout. Actually, no, Ru not Russell, though. Uh, next guy we're looking at is Joseph Parham. Ooh, okay. All right. Give him program prestige first. Greg Whitley. 25, good lord. He's good as well. Give him program prestige. I guess or signed elsewhere. <laughs> That's tragic. Alright, um the top hondo. Scouted him. Oh, he's already on the list, anyways. Oh, 
Scotty Stewart has us up there as well. Interesting. But what you working on today, ESU? What you got going on on your on your side? Alright, we'll at least look at Hal. Give him a program prestige pitch. We'll scout him later. Eric Brock. Scout him. Damn, sucks not having that many points, but you know. There's only so much you can do when you're on probation. Just working on some NCAA football, level Madden 23, and finishing up WWE, my jam. But yeah, it seems like everybody's like finishing up the GM mode ahead of the new game coming out tomorrow. I'm gonna be getting it myself. Probably will not be playing. Unfort. I mean, you're enjoying Fire, uh, Fire Pro Wrestling so much, so I don't blame you for not wanting to get it. No commitments. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then Kent and Parham both signed elsewhere. That's great. Oh, well. Lucky for us, he wants to go to a prestigious school. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. All right, location and prestige isn't it. Coaching style? Las Vegas is a big trawl for McFadden. Okay. Thus wants to be a far. Oh, okay. We got to scout him still, though. Average. Okay. He's making a conscious effort to stay out of trouble. Good. And then Whitley. Wasn't interested in our right, location. I'll try then. All right. We'll at least look at Russell. Uh, let's give him a location pitch. You'll get the game, but I'm like probably just gonna use it for universe. That's probably all I'm using it for. So that's valid. I holiday. They raise him to be a model citizen. I like it. <laughs> Offer him. Let's do program prestige for him. And then Marquise Williams. Scout him as well. Oh, it's, it's poor. That's great. Marcus Branch. It's average. And we will give him a playing time pitch. Look at our targets real quick. So far we have eight of them with three weeks left. All right, we might as well just give um, Branch this last one. Last point, there we go. But I do know you can join with Randy Orton in the career mode, even though I don't trust him as a teammate. <laughs> I wouldn't trust him as a teammate either. You, I mean, if he wouldn't have got hurt, I'm sure like they would have just had him turn on Riddle at some point. Randy turns on all of his partners. I mean, all, we all see what he did to Edge, you know?
In my universe, I might change Ford into a bad guy to turn on his teammate. It'd be interesting to see Montez Ford turn on Doc, but I don't know. That'd be interesting at least. All right, so we got Dustin Howe, Jason Russell, and Ty Holiday. Good pickups. And then Scotty Stewart went to Oregon State. God damn. And Marcus Branch went for Nevada. Okay. God damn. That's very unlucky. Location is playing a huge role. Okay. Just keep on hitting location then. Location's a priority. He doesn't really like Vegas. Oh, wow. Fuck you then. It was all on top of his list though. Let's look at Sydney Island though. Poor, great. It's a waste. My Marquise Williams, or as well. Brendan Brandon. That's quite the name. Playing time as well. Leroy McElroy. These guys have some crazy ass names. Potential's average, though. Oof. I messed this type of recruiting in NCAA games. Me too, bro. Type of recruiting was always fun. Might even be... <laughs> I might even be Leroy Jenkins. Leroy Jenkins. I'll just pitch these guys at this point. Why not? What do I really have to lose? I mean, I'll have enough points to, like, suspend them and shit. None of the infamous double names yet. We, we were close to Brendan Brandon. Like, Brandon Brandon's, like, the closest we've gotten. Doesn't look like we're gonna pull a receiver, though, either. look like any of these receivers are gonna come our way Guess if I want the CPU to recruit for me, no. You guys don't know what the fuck you're doing. You guys have no clue what you're doing, as a matter of fact, so I don't trust you. Last week of recruiting, guys, let's go. So Darius Slay ended up signing back with the Eagles. Okay.
Gardner Minshew went to the Colts. Oh, man. It seems like it's a quiet day in free agency, though. I guess all the owners, are, all the GMs and owners are just watching the tourney. That's what it looks like, at least. All right, so we got Omar McFadden and Leroy McElroy. He has A-plus hands, so maybe he'll play receiver for us. Leroy McElroy. Ooh, Chris Petty has us on top of his list. Oh, it's time. Alright, so program proceed. <laughs> Location. Playing time. Coaching cell. Guess playing time is the only thing we can pitch. Alright, so Brendan Brandon goes to Oregon State, and then Sydney Allen goes to Wyoming. So, we have three remaining spots, pretty much. So, Chris Petty, give him playing time. Maul Crockett. Coaching style. Marquise Williams. And Ahmad Witten. Prestige. Program Prestige for Brad O'Neill. Playing time for Marquis Williams. Let's see if anybody in the state is still looking. So Darrell Ryan. Scout him. Ooh, okay. Let's give him a location pitch. Rocky Chatfield. Let's give him a location pitch as well. Have any athletes here? Nope. About corners. Jeff Smalley. Location. All right, so we pretty much have everybody we're looking for. we get all 15 I doubt it but it's worth a shot Ugh. I'm on my I'm on my worst behavior damn Oral Roberts is getting clapped up by Duke right now Shots today for Ben, and they still won. And Lonzo Ball might be done playing basketball at this point. I mean, he's going to have a surgery that's going to cost him all of next season. Damn, the Giants got Paris Campbell. Tennessee is just not going to pick up a receiver until the draft, I guess. They did bring it back Nick Westbrook Akine, which I'm kind of eh on.
Wow, we only got two of the... Oh my god, really? So none of these four guys signed with anybody. Okay. Um, Brad O'Neill went to Utah. Ahmad Witten went to Fresno State. Cool. Cool story, bro. Our O-line is going to be a mess this year. <laughs> we have the 28th ranked class with just nine players. Cool. Alright, so the players we got were... Rusty Hurd. Who's a five star? We got Dustin Howe. And we're not even gonna restart this. I'm just gonna let it rock, I guess. No more. Add in. We got Jason Russell. And we got Greg Whitley. And then Jamal Crockett. Star. Ty Holiday. Three star. We Roy McElroy. And we got Jeff Smalley. A pretty paltry. Only had nine players out of the possible fifteen we could have gotten. But I'll take it. Definitely gonna get a shit ton of walk-ons. I bet. Oh, that sucks. move our athletes first so Whitley oh is he a he's a lineman okay so Whitley could play line for us cool that helps that helps out a little bit the herd is a right tackle we'll put Whitley at left tackle in cool What other positions can he play? Oh, he can play D-tackle, too. But just anywhere on the line is ideal for him. He could play tight end, too, so... Might have to figure out, like, a situation to put him at tight end. And Leroy McElroy. Mainly a defensive guy. What is his hands like? 68. All right. Rod Benson is a 72, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna move Gabriel Collier to fullback. Alright, let's see what Downs can do. Can you play any other position? Nope. Just a fullback. What about Valentine? Nope, oh, just a fullback as well. Downs can play tight end. We'll move him to tight end. The Collier is our starting fullback now. Can Fall playing at other position? Nope, he's just a QB. Unlucky. McElroy.
put, we'll keep McElroy around. Actually, can he play receiver? Nope. Not very well, at least. <laughs> Let's move Lazarus to receiver. Actually, no. Keep him at running back. Alright, and then defensively... <laughs> Fire will remain strong safety. Cody will play... Can he play offense? He can play receiver, but... I'd rather keep him at free safety because he was a baller there. What about Clarence Banks? He's not offensively sound at all. He could play end. Cool. And then free safety 19. I'll keep him there. Kemba Walker will remain our starting corner. Could play receiver, but nah. Uh, big shoddy. Big shoddy Lee. Omar McFadden. Can this 21 play offense at all? No, he's a 65. What about small E? Oh, and David Peace. Might as well try him out at receiver, see what he can do. So many middle linebackers. So little time. Any, any of them catch? Vance Arnold. Move him to tight end. Might as well. We're just so deep at middle linebacker at this point. He's never going to get PT anyways. tackle either. Alright. Hey everyone in Casper Gaming. What's up Rother Rutherford McCullough Gaming? How's it going? We'll keep Bucket at right guard. Let's move this guy to left guard, though. Bucket will start at right guard over him. <laughs> he was the starter last year, though. Let's move Hampton to guard then. There we go. So Uncle Bucket will still start. Nothing playing. Just dropping by while playing some NCAA football 10. Nice. Very nice. Oh no, we're not. Never mind. I was just gonna say that we can move him to lot to receiver, but he's better as a tight end. So we're just gonna have to deal with a subpar receiving core, I guess. I don't know. Seems to be the play. the corner matter of fact all right let's continue to training results snap my fingers with this but it's all good it's just a vibe I 
man. I feel like I should just work Fridays going, like, you know, just sacrifice having two days off in a row and just work Fridays from now on because, good lord. I just feel so much more productive today than I did usually. Harmon's a 95 now, good lord. Alright. Let's go player by player. So, follow only improved by two. Moranian's probably going to be the starter, honestly. You know, I know Parker's not going to be happy about it, but, you know, follow has just been really inaccurate. We'll see. We'll give him a shot, at least. We'll have, like, a really easy game to start the season and just play both of them. Maybe we'll just have a two QB system. I don't know. We'll see. And then Moran will be the starter full time next year. Because I'm definitely getting a different playbook. Like after this year. We'll see though. And Burns is a starter, although Slater had a big, big spring. He's up to 56 awareness. Okay. There we go. And then even Lazarus got a little better. And Collier got four overall points at fullback. Valentine got three. Agassi improved a little bit. Boston with a nice improvement at receiver, though. <laughs> Look at Ham Slammer. Ham Slammer's out here getting a little bit better, too. Okay. See, improvement, man. You gotta love the improvement of these guys. These guys putting on a little weight, too. I like it. And David Peace was okay. Ingle McCringleberry's an 80 overall now. A fellow Hughes is a 78. Lance Downs is a 65. Damn, that man had a big improvement at, at a tight end. Even got his catching up a little bit. Okay, and he's like a better run block blocker than McCringleberry. Good. And Dan Arnold, moderate. Didn't really improve his blocking at all, but oh well. And then at guard, Curtis Davis is a 74. Hampton's a 68 now. 79 is a 76 now. Uncle Bucket got better too. Let's go. And then on the line, Carlin Holden is now an 82. Ricky Marion is a 91 now. It's time, bro. Let's go. And now Santino Davidson's a 72. Let's go. Roderick Manning is an 88 now. Fat Castle is a 68. Tim Gardner is a 59. Devin Falla and Anthony Rollins are both middle are both 91 middle linebackers. Ruben Dickerson's an 80 now. And Hemini Snicket is an 87. So everybody our linebacking core is nasty now. And then Kemble Walker's an 87. Colby Lee's an 82. 21's a 78. And then Clarence Banks is a 70 from a 65. So moving him over the corner definitely helped him out a whole lot. Uh, what's up, Sammy? He's the best tackler out of the, the veteran corners I have. And then Cody's a 84 now. Roy Wire's an 84. Let's go. And then Harmon Tedesco's a 95. Caden Mango's a 91. I just hope they both improve their accuracy. Yep, Harmon's a 91 now. You took almost two hours to finish a stupid math test because how hard it was. Yeah, math is not one of my strong points either. I feel you. <laughs> All right. So Mark Fall Jr. I, I don't think we have to cut anybody. We're not going to. I don't really like to cut anybody unless we have to. And we certainly do not have to. So we'll go to the depth chart. Passing the math class anyways. Hey, that's good. As long as you're passing. Yeah. Sometimes with math, that's all you can do. Because math is really tough. You have a C. That's good. That's even better than a D, bro. Oh, my eyes itching like crazy. As soon as it warms up, all the pollen just come, like, pause. Call comes right in my face. Pause. The school got no Ds. It goes straight to F. So it's just A, B, and C, and then it goes to F. Uh, we had E's instead of F's. But we did have Ds, so. It's a tough school to go to, then. Wait, 
basically. Oof. Oh, the Bears signed another former Titan. Good lord. This time they got Deontay Foreman at running back. I like the style of clothes you wear. Damn, so we ended up finishing 12th in the nation. <laughs> 12th in the nation. I don't know why I'm doing that, but okay. <laughs> I'm just waiting for this jump to load. That was a really quick all season though. We're ready to get right back into it. Right back into the thick of it. might be able to play some middle linebacker for me. Okay. Alright, our line situation is not as bad as I thought it would be, but still not ideal. Still very unideal. Off to start a brand new season. take a look at the preseason polls Ohio State's number one our reigning defending undisputed national champion LSU Tigers are second USC's third Miami's fourth ew fifth is Tennessee State ew sixth is Florida gross and we're twelfth ooh okay we're twelfth we are twelfth in the nation let's go Definitely gonna load up our schedule with some tough games, though. Heisman Watch, Oregon State's quarterback is number one. Running back's number two. Their quarterback's, their, uh, Miami's three, quarterback's number three. Tamu's quarterback's number four. And Virginia Tech's running back's number five. Okay. Preseason All Americans. We'll see if we have anybody. Doesn't look like it. Nope. What about second team? 
Oklahoma State got a guy there. Breezy has to be happy about that. Alright, so let's check out All Mountain West. Alex Moore, uh, so... Zach Burns is a first team running back. Agassiz's first team, McCringleberry's second, uh, first team. Uncle Bucket's first team. Devin Follow's first team. Kemba Walker's first team. Jack Cody's first team, so... Got a bunch of guys. And Alex Moran is a second team all QB. Brian Hampton, second team as well. Colby Lee, second team. Roy Wire, second team. And that's about it. And they got us. So, rankings in the Mountain West is us, San Diego State, Utah, CSU, Air Force, New Mexico, BYU, and Wyoming. We're still not one of the toughest places to play. No surprise there. All right, so let's set up our schedule. We don't start our out of conference schedule until week seven. All right, week one, we're definitely gonna get a cupcake team of some sort. Let's look at the highest ranked teams though by position and the lowest ranks. So highest ranks uh, highest rated overall offense defense specialty. Alright so go to polls Overall, highest ranked team is USC. So it's USC and Oklahoma, then Miami, Texas A&M, and Texas. Highest ranked offenses. Actually, let's go lowest ranked ranked first. grab this real quick all right so lowest overall is army new mexico who we already play navy memphis duke highest ranked offenses are oklahoma texas a&m usc Miami and Texas. Highest ranked or let's do the lowest ranked offenses now. Navy, Duke, Army, Air Force, and Utah. <laughs> Kinda shocking to see Utah here. Highest ranked defenses are Miami, no surprise there. USC, West Virginia, surprise, surprise, Virginia Tech, and then us, okay. All right, and then after us is Texas. And then lowest ranked defenses are New Mexico, no surprise there, Vanderbilt. UL Lafayette, Ohio, and Idaho. And not that this really matters, but special teams is us. Texas A&M, LSU, Wisconsin, and USC. Lowest ranked is UAB, Wyoming, Virginia, UL Monroe, 
an army. Those are our highest and lowest ranked at top five and bottom five for each of these ratings. <laughs> That'll kind of help us decide who we're going to play because I think I don't really want to play army to be honest with you, but I'm, I already play New Mexico too, so maybe we'll play Memphis. That might be the move. All right, so we'll figure out red shirting and whatnot later on. We'll figure out the schedule later on. But that's going to do it for the NCAA portion of this stream. We're going to switch over to some Pokemans shortly. Uh, I'm just going to use the bathroom and finish my laundry. So we're going to take a little bit of a break, but I'll be right back. I'm just going to switch to uh, BRB. So keep it locked, y'all.